Hi, my name is Yessi, this is Kyle, and we'd like to thank you for joining us today to hear our presentation on the interweb site. In today's day and age, almost everybody has a cell phone. It's very common to see it around as it's very essential to our personal lives, but not only that, but to business as well. However, it wasn't always this way. There was a point in time where not only was there not a cell phone, but there wasn't even a regular telephone to make any kind of phone calls. Uh, and the telephone is a very prime example of innovation. When Alexander Graham Bell created his uh, creation in 1876, the people were very excited about it. However, they didn't really understand its potential for the future. But those that did over the course of the next 130 years took the time to innovate that product. And as you can see over time, we went from the Alexander Graham Bell telephone to the rotary phone to the cordless house phone to the big cell phone from the 80s that I'm sure everybody remembers, and uh, to the current status of the iPhone, which has the capabilities of GPS, computers, personal organizers, and much, much more. So needless to say, um, it's imperative for an innovator to understand the needs of the current times, and it's important for all of us to understand that our times are dependent upon innovators. Inter is an incredible online tool that explores the world of innovation at your fingertips. Um, big, small, new, revamped, simple, or complex, innovation is the successful exploitation of new ideas. Inter is a tool that helps us tap and tune into those skills that are required to be a successful innovator, such as communication, leadership, motivation, imagination, creativity, situational reflection, and analysis. By using activities, situational scenarios, and games to teach, implement, and to apply these skills, Inter explores the world of innovation in a way that is comprehensible to all. One of the most crucial skills that Inter explores is communication. Most any, organi most any organization would fail without communication. The lack thereof can result in high turnover, uh, upset customers, and untimeliness, which are all factors of lost cost. Companies simply can't afford to not implement an efficient communication system. Three companies that thrive off communication within their corporate culture are FedEx, Herman Miller, and, and Olive Garden. Um, communication is the main ingredient within the FedEx Corporation due to the nature of its service. Delivering packages is a timely business, and FedEx spends day and night receiving and delivering packages that must arrive by a certain date and time. Otherwise, FedEx loses money and credibility. It's because of this that FedEx has a tight communication system that notes packages, whereabouts, and employees' progresses, um, and communicates with others at all times. This system has helped ensure efficiency and timeliness, making FedEx successful and profitable. Herman Miller is in a similar business of receiving and delivering, but rather is grounded using semi-trucks. These drivers that drive the semi-trucks must be timely and communicate with several distributors and clients daily. When the driver drops off merchandise, often they'll pick up other packages that have to be delivered to other vendors. So uh, with this, the employee must be uh, very timely and efficient being the in-between man, and um, it's important that they manage their time very wisely. The Inter website is very easy to use. It's set up as a similar to a social network, something similar like Facebook or MySpace. It connects you to many other people who are interested in um, developing their skills with the Inter website as well. So you can communicate with those people and figure out, uh, maybe connect with them on different levels business-wise or just to uh, create new ideas and be innovative uh, with other people as well. Um, as, you, as you scroll down to the bottom, you will see that all the modules are located down there and up front here we have the me module as an example um, each of the modules have a description of each of the categories that you are you will be um, discovering and as you go into them you'll use activities and games and uh, other tools such as blogs to explore those skills and um, you'll have an opportunity to apply and to reflect to make sure that the information that inter uh, provides is is being brought in efficiently and used efficiently. All right, first we thought some of the biggest positive of the website was, of course, at the content of the modules. Uh, this is, after all, what the website is built around, and uh, the skills that the, enables the people to learn, uh, excuse me, 
The website is built around the skill that enables people to learn and more accurately understand the concepts being taught, such as communication and ideation. We also felt that another positive of the website was the content being presented was very understandable. Uh, it didn't try to go way over your head at times, and really it just kept things pretty simple for everybody to make it a lot easier for relatively anyone to understand the materials being presented. Uh, everything else was pretty easy to use. It wasn't very hard to figure out what to do. Uh, the directions on most of the things were pretty clear and very understandable. Uh, some of the things that we saw that took away, though, were like the website law or didn't have an effect of so-called stickiness, meaning there wasn't much content on the website to keep you coming back to enter once you finished the modules. Uh, also, it appeared that the activities placed within the modules weren't very uniform and that they sometimes just didn't flow together well. Uh, but they instead took a person sometimes in two different directions with the subject being discussed, which could confuse a person doing multiple activities at once. Uh, lastly, the activities, especially the ones that had games in them, we felt like they might be a little old-fashioned or outdated. Uh, not so much the content, but the graphics that they were used like in the animations and in the graphics. And they thought they were looking a little more than five years old, so we just figured those are something that could be updated a little bit. Uh, some of the changes that we thought we could make to the website, uh, we really benefit from using, or yeah, we feel that people really benefit from using the website by doing some of these things. Uh, first, we thought we'd clean up all the loose ends, making sure we get all the little things right first. Uh, one example would be when a person selects a profile theme uh, that is applied to throughout the, that it, we're gonna apply to the whole website for the user. Usually when someone sets their profile theme, uh, the way the website's set up right now is it actually only does it for your profile. And the whole purpose of a person choosing a theme for their website is so they don't have to look at that original file or that original theme for it. So uh, it's just one of the small changes that we would make. Uh, also, uh, we also had a check mark system in the modules to show how far along people are in them so they don't lose track of where they are with their work. And we'd also auto the journal and survey pages, you know, combining them into one quick page that makes the user uh, think by answering a question that forces them to use practical application. Uh, then they can use the information that they learned in the module to help answer that question fully and effectively. Uh, I also touched on the topic of stickiness earlier. Uh, and one way we came up with solving the issue was to add more games to the modules. We felt that the modules with the games stood out the most from the other modules. And so we're going to run with that concept and apply it to the more of the activities. Also, we want to add a competitive element to it to make it more fun for the users. Uh, by adding things like a simple AI to play against in some of the games, like in Jeopardy, when you'd play the games, you're playing by yourself, and you realize real quickly that it wasn't any fun, you could take your time, and there's no real strategy to the game. And so we thought about just adding like an AI to that, maybe a high score system to some of the different things. Just add a little competition between the users, make it a little more interactive for people. Um, One more thing to add that we want to make sure we uh, talk about is making the activities and modules more consistent and conforming to work together to help the person make sure they understand them much better than they can. Uh, hopefully, they can retain a greater understanding of the material by making sure that we're not confusing someone by throwing them in two different directions on the same subject. So now we've got our strategy. We've, uh, we're starting to target off with, uh, we're starting to target three types of people. We're starting with business people, educators and students, and skill seekers. Uh, for businesses, we decided the way to get business people interested in Enter would be to use reviews of the material on Enter by famous business and marketing related blogs, uh, where people can read these reviews and get excited about Enter. Uh, the logic behind this is that once Enter is brought up to par, once we get everything fixed and we get the little details right, the product that Ender is itself will be so exceptional that we wouldn't have to worry about a bad review from these bloggers. Uh, that way, they can work their magic by doing what they do and writing their blog, using the magic of their own words to review it, say good things about it, and get other people excited about it. Uh, also, we were looking at the education. We were saying, well, how would we get people interested in this in education? And we thought, well, students would be probably the ones most interested in it because you're getting students coming out of college they are looking for more skill sets to add to their resumes for when they're entering the workforce. So we thought, well, who would they go to if they were looking for more skill sets when they were in school? And we thought, well, uh, probably counselors and teachers. And so we decided we'd put together a booklet explaining kind of what Inter is and say, you know, uh, these are some of the things that Inter teaches you. This is how it benefits you. And just kind of letting people know that when they go to their uh, counselor or their teachers, they can give them this book and say, you know, this is something that could be really beneficial to help you out. Uh, lastly, we've thought about some of the skill seekers in the workforce. Uh, currently in Michigan, the unemployment rate is about 9.3%. That's a monster amount. Um, 
and there's a need for new skills for people in transition between jobs. And so we thought we'd partner with programs like Michigan Workforce. And what that program is, it helps displaced workers receive education when they're working to go between jobs. And it helps them add more skill sets to their resumes and make them more qualified so they can actually advance themselves when they're transferring between jobs. Uh, we want to partner with these programs like this to help reach these people who are looking for these new skill sets because we feel that there's a dire need for these sort of things. Uh, in conclusion, I'd like to thank you for listening to our presentation. If you guys have any questions, we'd be more than happy to answer them for you. Thank you.